Guys, guys, <laughs> it's just so <laughs> never been so excited about a girl singing. <laughs> what is what's wrong? so much for all of the love that you guys have been showing me in uh, the comments and just guiding me along the journey giving me all the info that I need to know I'm doing this video because it was the most requested on the Google form that I put out in the last video the solos were the most requested which is is just so good <laughs> because obviously Lisa's solo is today and I'm, at that point I want to see them individually so I was so happy when I saw that that was the most requested. I, I'm gonna continue to, to look at that Google form and it's basically just gonna be the order of things on the YouTube channel when it comes to Blackpink. I have put in the description the kind of next Blackpink content that you can expect in the next sort of two week, two or three weeks uh, and the order that they will come. So check that and continue to look at the, this fly. <sighs> continue to look at the google form uh, and vote on there because i yeah i'm just gonna keep looking at it so i will update uh the ones that i've looked at today and take those out uh i'm looking at four things today i know that jisoo hasn't had a debut solo yet but i just thought it was gonna be incredibly rude to be doing a video discovering their individual talents and then leaving one member out it, like how, how do i look at her <laughs> like how am i supposed to look at her in any any other thing in the eyes if I've just like X'd her out of a video like it's weird so we're gonna do a Jisoo cover as well I'm really excited actually to get to know them because I've obviously been learning about them on um, Patreon looking at uh, the Netflix documentary and now like Blackpink House so I'm really intrigued to see what they bring when they're individuals so heads up I pause, I look at things, I think about it, I talk about it. If you don't like pausing, I am gonna stress you out so much. So it's just better you leave now. But if you do like that, if you want to get into stuff with me and have a bit of a chat later in the comments, then stick around. <laughs> I just wanna let you know. So with Jenny, I'm really hoping that she's gonna sing and rap because I haven't worked out which part of her I prefer. I wanna see both, I wanna see her doing both basically. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get that. Okay, let's go. We're getting sassy, Jenny. Done. <laughs> Love story. <laughs> I love Sassy Jenny. Damn. The way she threw that. That sound is so good. We're actually going back. Wait. The way the um the music was just isolated at that point, and then it's just her voice, her expression to the side. We need that again. It's very elegant. Super elegant. Black and pink. She's taking off the pink, so she only has a black. Yes, rapping. Guys, guys. <laughs> I wanted sassy Jenny. I totally got her. <laughs> I wish I could slow this video down so that I could like capture everything properly. But okay, wait. Is this um? Let me look at the lyrics again. Used to be your girl, now I'm used to being the girl. Oh. You're sitting on your feelings, I sit on, oh. my on her throne. I'm down for the troubles in your eyes, this time I'm only looking at me, myself, and I. I know it's all love. I'ma do it on my own now. Now that you're alone, got you looking for a clone now. Oh, no. I. I love. I love breakup songs like this because so often 
it's just about being so sad and still wanting you and now I'm upset and my life is trash without you and that's fine like there's a place for that but I love that she's not doing that she's not doing all of that longing she's doing it was cool but I'm better on my phone I mean the part about sit you're sitting on your feelings and I'm sitting on my throne <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just such like, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so sorry it might be like it, it might be like minor to you guys but I just get so excited when I see people being sassy I just love sassy people and I love sassy things and I love I mean this expression can we take like a mess can we take a moment for this uh <laughs> this expression right now she's so done she's so done destined for this and the crown she's not destined for your crap i love it then the crown sing it loud like Shine diamond. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the car, the car. Okay, no, no, no. Before we get to the car, the outfits that she's wearing, I'm like, Jenny just looks, I don't know how to describe Jenny. She's just incredibly classy. She's just very classy and on stage, you're like, you feel comfortable watching her. You know that she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, like in that moment. And it, I just find her very comfortable so I can actually like have fun watching her and like looking at the lyrics and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, but the, the car, I'm pretty sure it was a diss as well. Oh. This, <laughs> not even a distant memory. Like, you're not even a distant, dis, like, <laughs> like distant is bad enough to say that you are a distant memory is bad enough and she's like no you're a step further you're not even a distant memory i'm so happy just living my life like this i'm going so la 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 i'm going so la 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 man i'm solemn candom tm ever no more who will be Better without you. Better off without you. Now I'm going slow Um but this the vocals as well on this. Woo! It's so good. Again, again, again. This part. Wait, I missed it. Oh no, I didn't miss it. There was a move that she did. This. Yes. Like a little smirk on her face. I'm going so la, 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 la. She doesn't need you. I love that. I love that. That actually made me really happy. It's probably not supposed to make me. I don't know if it's supposed to make me happy because it's um it's a breakup song. But I felt like that was really empowering because yeah, there was a bit of a moment of her being sad and crying, but the majority of it was actually I'm happy on my own, and I'm gonna go with that. I'm going to assume that, yeah, that's the message. Uh, okay, so Rosé on the ground. Let's, oh, what am I expecting from Ro Rosé? I'm expecting depth. I want to actually hear her voice because I discovered Rosé first on uh, Sea of Hope and 
you can hear her voice in Blackpink songs, obviously, but there's like her tone, I feel is slightly missing because of just like Blackpink songs are just so heavily produced. And I love that. It, it's really good. But sometimes you miss the tone of her voice. So I'm really hoping that kind of stuff comes out more. And I'm expecting depth because that just seems to be what she's all about. So let's go. <laughs> On the ground. Okay, something's falling to the ground. Black pink again, so like the black and the My life's been magic, seems fantastic. I used to have a hole in the wall with a mattress. Funny when you want it, suddenly you have it. You find out that your goal's just plastic. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah. My life's been magic, seems fantastic. And she's wearing the black and the pink. She's in like, I think it's like a makeup area. So she sounds like she's talking about like her like well her life like her, but her life as a um like as a star as an artist and it doesn't sound good <laughs> doesn't sound My like she's happy magic seems fantastic i used to have a hole in the wall with a mattress funny when you want it suddenly oh. you have it you find out that your goal's just plastic oh. every day every night that's interesting that's interesting because you know that phrase, everything that glitters isn't gold. So just because you think it could be, um, gold and special because it's glittering, it's not actually, you need to check further. But with Rose, I feel like she's taking it that step further that it's not even that it's not what it looks like. It's that it's actually plastic. It's fake, which. <sighs> 20 seconds in, I, I'm really not trying to cry. I'm not trying to be upset. Um, so I'm hoping her life is actually good. I'm hoping she's good. Night, I've been thinking back on you and I every day, every night. I'll work my oh. whole life just to get right, just to be like. Look at me, I'm never coming. Wow, look at her. On all these chandeliers, the shining lights. Theatre, her on stage. Oh. Wow. I really love. The way she says everything I like the inflection on that I I like the way she says the I there's like an extra kind of tone and not tone actually it's not tone it's just the way she pronounces words particularly obviously in English um that I don't know what it's called. I'm not like technical and professional and all that kind of stuff, but I like the way that she's pronouncing the I in that. Um, and she's just like slowing it down and taking us to like the message. She's running. Uh, okay, so she's running to the life that she wants. Oh, like it's the pressure. Ah, uh, like from a show, she's driving back. I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused, honestly, because I don't like the lyric she's talking. She sounds like she's talking about someone. But I don't feel like this is a relationship song. Like, correct me. Let me know what you guys think. But I don't feel like this is a relationship song. Just from a lot of, like, what the placing of where she is being in um the makeup studio at the beginning, the theatre, the black and the pink that she's wearing, the chandeliers of, like, the shining lights, the stage. It feels... To, and then the car, obviously, like, basically, like, done with the day's show or whatever it feels to me as if she's actually talking about 
her life as an artist and that she's been running for it. She's been chasing it all of her life. And when she gets there, it doesn't seem like it's actually what she thought it would be. Or maybe just like the chase is over. So it's just never like when you're, whenever you're looking for something, whenever you're trying to get somewhere, when you get there, it never feels as good as you thought it was going to feel. I don't know. Maybe you guys have a different sense of fulfillment, but I find if you're really focused on something to try and get there, you always get there and you're like, ah, like I thought it would feel different when I'm here. And that kind of feels like what she's saying that you're working for it. But actually when you get there, it's not quite what you thought it was going to be. And now she's like trying to reestablish, I guess, like what, like who she is, what her life is kind of about. But the relationship style lyrics are actually confusing me. So let me know what you guys think of it. Roses are dead, love is fake! Roses are dead, love is fake. Roses are dead, love is fake. Is this like, uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but obviously her name, her name. So is it like roses, like as in like that part of her is dead and the love, oh, what is, what's Rosie trying to say? She's freaking me out. She's freaking me out. Cause she, this is super dark at this moment. Like the imagery of it, of like the words there. But then, and she's wearing like, like black. She's wearing black, all black. Well, except for the, like the little white hair. Um, but then the words that she's singing at that moment is actually, I'm never coming down, which is really empowering. So I'm super confused by Rose. So she's re-establishing what she needs and what she wants from her life. She's... Oh, it's like a phoenix. Like it burns and then it's rebirth. And now there's like flowers, like a new life. Oh, like she's talking to her. She's singing to herself. Is this her stage self? Like, so her stage persona and then her, like, real who she is? So she needs to focus on the music. That's... Like, don't focus on all the artistry. Focus on the music. Rose Roseanne! Rosé, Roseanne. So Rosé is replaced by Roseanne. Roseanne is obviously like her actual name, right? Well, um, that and, uh, oh, I can't say, but the Che, Che Young, I think. Um, but Roseanne is her actual name. Rosé is her stage name. And Rosé is, repl um, is replaced by Roseanne because actually she's been searching for that, that stage life. And she's got there. It's not what she thought it was going to be. And actually, she needs to go back to who she is and like her initial drive, what makes her happy. And that ties into the whole her in the black and the white, her stage rose looking at Roseanne playing uh, the piano. Because I have seen from the Netflix documentary that she's very musical and she was saying that she doesn't have time now to. Like, she's happy that, she, you know, she's got everything that she's got, but she now doesn't have time to do what she wanted to do in the first place, which is play music and just love music. So it's like, she's got there. Now she's saying, I want to be Roseanne and I want to focus on my music and just be me. So she's happy. She's rebirth. Rebirth. In baby pink queen. 
Beautiful. Ah, I loved that. But I almost wanted it to end. I wish it had ended just. Oh. I wish it had actually just ended on the image of her floating above uh, the flowers rather than going back to the to the black and the pink and the fire. Unless that's what she's saying, like it's still a work in, pro work in progress. Unless that's what she's saying, that I haven't reached that point yet, but that's where I'm trying to go to. Um, listen, guys, <laughs> the depth of black pink, honestly, I think for my very first video, I had no idea that they were this deep. And each thing that I'm watching, I'm like, ah, 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 okay, wow. Uh, so now we're doing, GC Clarity. So the singer of this is actually British. So it kind of makes sense that I'm doing it. I have heard the song, obviously. Um, so I'm wondering what it will be like. I don't know what to expect from this cover. I don't know if she's going to change it up, if she's going to make it Korean. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. And I've said before that GC to me is actually pretty mysterious. So I don't never really know what I'm going to get from her. So I'm keen to just learn and see what I get. <laughs> Oh, she's changed it. Korean. <laughs> she looks expensive. All of that jewelry. But, but to me this song is about um toxic relationships right and jisoo is the last person that i would expect to be in there from what i've seen she just seems so like stable so rational just so like just sensible you know like she just solid she just seems so solid so it's like it's interesting to me that she's chosen this song and I, do you guys know why do you know why she chose this song because i'd be really interested to actually know the reason Solid, solid vocals. And Jisoo has a list, right? I really like her list. with her English as well like for someone that is I don't know how confident she is in English 
but this is like very, very good. I'm so impressed with her. to that little ad lib there. No, back here. Yeah. Hmm. Change it up, GC. of adoring fans. Well, we chill, Lisa, chill. Okay. Okay, let's go. This is a uh, this one is very like how you like that, isn't it? She was the one doing this um oh, Okay, well we're getting duality of the like princess look and the modern do you know what? I was so focused on Lisa <laughs> and she's not even like Lisa from the back that I didn't even pay attention to the fact that she's actually saying words. <laughs> this is a problem. Okay, let's go. Let me try and like focus on two things. <laughs> Okay, this is all about Lisa. Well, La Lisa. Hey! What's my name? chorus is the hook but i still want to hear it again i just like the way lisa pronounces things this part uh, like she's so diverse this is an example of her diversity being in all these outfits riding a motorcycle just doing everything and being baby get the microphone put it on speaker i said i can't hear you so you need to speak up very low protecting like a barrier promise there's nothing scarier than me if anybody coming coming from me Yes. Bam, bam, bam. Hit after hit, rock, oh, I love Lisa. 
Lisa rapping. I like her singing. I love, love Lisa rapping. And the slow rap was doing it. But this shift into this, this is where I'm getting my life. I'm taking it all the way back. this video like 10 times to even get what I'm doing and to like get all of like the differences there are so many scenes and shifts in this song <laughs> guys I've never been so excited about a girl singing and rapping confidence to come out in a debut song I mean debut is supposed to be your introduction but to come out and be like it's gonna be called my name and I'm just gonna spend the time telling you how great I am and how it's totally fine to, for you to keep loving me and actually you should keep loving me because I'm on top <laughs> what? like Lisa is overconfident and look how cute she is here her roots now right because this is very like the uh, attire at the top is very tight the um like the head attire as well and i did see some of that in the teaser like the i think one of the lightning bolts was like the shape of thailand so i was expecting to see some of her bringing like her homeland into it but i love that she's done it at the bridge and she's just shifted into time isn't a fantasy and then the, the black and the pink we are the greatest it's like a shout out to her oh and then yeah like the thailand to korea and now here she went for the <laughs> she went for the throat wow lisa wow lisa has no chill Oh, 
belongs to me. I know her throne. You can't. I expected or no I didn't know what to expect but this is what this is what a debut should be like if you're presenting yourself to people this feels from everything that I've seen of her this feels like such a combination of who she is we're getting her being utterly flawless and fierce confident talking about how great she is being pretty savage as well at times, but talking about her girls, being cute, dancing in all of those environments, showing her diversity, like it's a debut. And I think that's what I like about all of these debuts. They seem very, like each one seems very fitting with who the person is. Like Rose talking about her actual genuine journey and like just the depth of it it seems like something she would do she's she was pretty much speaking in english right like pretty much so like again like there's so much authenticity in her presenting herself for the first time as her true self um jenny also we're getting the sass from jenny and just like it's uh, like very uplifting for me anyway i found it very uplifting and very like um like enlightened just a very kind of enlightened approach to a breakup story and that's what i get from jenny that jenny is not ordinary she's very like she she will do things that you won't expect her to do and so her doing that as her debut as well like within that message is just fitting it's just fitting each of they're just doing things that fit them and i just want to know how much input that they had in this like did they write it did they produce it um did they like the lyrics were they part of this is what i want it to be um like with the styling i mean there's so much of thailand in here and lisa in here, and all of them there's so much of them in it that like were they involved in that and i know i've watched the uh, netflix documentary i know that the, um their producer is really involved in what they do and he's just he's very close to them so to be honest even if they weren't super involved in it he seems to have such a good relationship with them that he would know how they would want to be presented and then they could maybe tweak it i really liked that relationship but in <laughs> I'm just happy. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm just so happy that they have like come into the world expressing themselves like this. And I'm excited to see, let me know if I should see all of uh, the three solos, their live performances. And if there's like a particular live performance that we should see, I'm pretty sure Lisa's also going to do a live, but the ones that you've seen from Jenny and Rose, tell me which ones I should uh, watch. And if there's any other Jisoo covers that I should watch as well. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Like, again, I need to stop talking and just rewatch it all. Cause I, I'm just so, I'm so happy. See you later. Bye.